Hello there, what's going on? We're going to be doing a foliage tutorial today. Um, I spotted that a lot of people are having a bit of difficulty with it and have been for like a long time. So I thought I'd share my um, wonderful, priceless font of knowledge um, of doing nice foliage. So just to, before we get stuck in, I would like to point out that I am using uh, Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, which is an absolutely fantastic open source version of uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. It's packed with a ton of great new features, a lot of improvements, and it is constantly being updated. Cannot give enough props to the people working on this. Uh, and you can go and download that at Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. So that's openrct2.org forward slash downloads. Um, go and pick that up because we are going to be using some of the features from that such as zero clearancing uh, later on in the tutorial so um, yeah we're going to be using non-custom scenery objects which is to say the items which come with the game default so we're not leaving anyone out anybody who has open roller coaster tycoon 2 and um, the the base game you do need the base game to do this so you're going to need uh, your roller coaster tycoon disc or install wherever it's from if it's on steam it's a good old game anywhere um, and then you need open roller coaster tycoon 2 so yeah let's get crack a lacking what we're going to start off by doing this is what many people would say would agree with me when i say um is the most important step is planning and this this isn't complicated this isn't we're not going to get our protractors out we're not going to get our set squares out what we're going to be doing is using the brown land texture to sort of plan out where we're going to plop down some scenery. An important thing to mention as well is that, um, let's just raise this land a little here so we've got a little room to play with, is that um, although it may seem in nature that things are random, they're absolutely not. There's always a, some sort of rhyme and reason to everything that happens. So we're going to try and make a, like an organic shape. I like what we've got going here. I like that. Um, we've got some, here's one, here's some I made earlier over there. So that's, that's step one. We did it already, you know. You don't just jump in and start placing trees down because that's, that's just chaos. And it doesn't look good. And you can see that in a lot of people's work that they're just kind of going, oh, let's put trees down. So yeah, plan. Plan what you're doing. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start by putting down the tallest trees that we're going to have in our palette. What I'm going to do personally, and you guys don't have to do this at all, um, I'm going to be using a whole mix, um, whole mix of trees, just so, just to demonstrate that there's lots of different ways and lots of different options to use when doing this. So as you can see, I'm, all of these tall ones are great. They're all of a height as well, so there's very much a sort of rank sort of thing going on here. What other tall guys do we have? Will we put this guy down yet? This guy's a great tall tree. So yeah, these are the, these are the tall trees. We've also got this palm tree as well if we want to put that in. I'm doing a proper eclectic bunch. So as you can see there, I've put down a little sort of vein almost of tall trees. And this is the, the first step in our little technique that we're going to be doing. Once we've done that, what we can do is we can sort of continue our, our plan a little bit that we did earlier and sort of expand upon our shape a little bit and we can put down some maybe some um, some of this to blend it through a bit and look at that might have overdone it a bit there but we're going to see what happens a bit later on so now we've got that sort of thick um, sort of artery in the middle of tall trees what we can do is we can start stepping down in, t in terms of uh, trees and what we're going to get at the end of this hopefully is a sort of pyramid of um, of trees and not it won't look like a conventional triangle um, pyramid but it will have this sort of hierarchical nature to it where you've got sort of steps going down and this is really aesthetically pleasing and it looks intentional and that's that's the important thing if you have an intent when you're building that's always good so this one's a good tree for sort of blending it down a bit it's just ever so slightly shorter so even when we're adding these ones in they're just that little bit shorter now they may it may have like the peak may almost reach as tall as the other ones but um a 
but the foliage sort of you know clumps down a bit lower so it does does give that impression that it's stepping down get a couple of these in here as well so as you can see already it looks sort of like it looks quite interesting doesn't it, it looks quite organized let's get a couple of these in here you know let's go crazy let's go mental let's sort of step it down towards the edges here so we've got a really really mad bunch of trees in here and this just goes to show that it, it isn't it, this can be done with any palette of um, trees that you wish to use to be honest it's there's no there's no set one which is going to be better than any of the others because there's lots which fit into these categories that I'm that I'm describing let's delete that and put that there let's see how that looks now this one's a lot sort of bigger than the other ones that I've done as you can see it's got a sort of crescent shape going on here this is a very natural sort of shape that would occur in nature um, so yeah now's now's the bit that we're going to need open roller coaster tycoon open roller coaster tycoon for uh, we're going to zero we're going to reduce the clearances and that, we do that by going to here and going to disable clearance checks and what that allows us to do is it allows us to build through what we've already built so we're going to add in a bit more texture underneath there's plenty of different ways of doing this you see this carrot object giant carrot you might think when am i ever going to use that like ever when am i ever going to use that well it's great for doing this sort of shrubbery so as you can see we're just kind of placing these shrubs underneath here to give that sort of texture blend blend through to reduce the harshness on them you can also use this giant fern object which is great as well which i never see anyone using but it's absolutely fantastic as you can see it's shaping up already what i'll do as well here is i'll do a bit more a bit more blending through on here put that on there hey that looks good doesn't it this is, I can spot an important thing is to just keep an eye on what's going on what you can do as well is you can put these sort of objects in here these look like stones don't they um, and they will have that effect of making it look like this um, it's a, it's a long term thing and nature has, has happened as it were these look kind of good as, as rocks as well so maybe you want to scatter a couple of those in there as you can see I'm only occasionally using each object that's an important thing we can go to these kind of shrubs as well we're not overdoing any, any one object because we want to avoid it looking too repetitive so to go back to what I was saying earlier about the pyramid if you remember all the way back to a few minutes ago when I was talking about that uh, what we're doing is creating a sort of we're starting with the tallest in the middle and we're just spreading out as we go down um, and that is, is the trick really and also with the with the with the ground texture we start with the darkest underneath so we're creating that kind of texture at the, at the th where the foliage is thickest and we're sort of um, fading it out with the with the ground texture if I put the see-through scenery on we can look here it's the it's the darkest in the middle and it as it spreads out towards the outer edges it fades through into that grass um, and that does have a really big effect on the texture so you know what guys I think we've pretty much done it um, that looks like some great foliage doesn't it you know it's got lots of character in there I have used a load we have used like almost every different sort of type of tree in there and it looks good it's, it's an effective bit of thing so it just goes to show there is no best palette you can use any any objects in any palette um, and you can even do great foliage in NCSO you don't need custom scenery objects for it so um, that about covers it for me so again um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it did uh, help you in some way and maybe I'll do another tutorial if you guys enjoyed this one and maybe I'll do um, one for regular old custom scenery tycoon 
seeing as that is what most people tend to build in nowadays. I've kind of ruined it there with them, but yeah, you get what I mean. Uh, so yeah, so long.